separate bottles of Milagro. Tell me, and they're both Blancos, correct? They're both Blancos. What is the difference? Boy, if you want to hold those up, that'd be great. That would be awesome. So, uh, this right here, this is the, the star of the show. It, it all begins with this Milagro Silver. Okay. Um, the difference is, is technically this one is completely unaged, just that full agave taste, bright citrus notes, nice pepper. This um, was actually a line extension down from the select barrel range. We used to have the Tequila Romance. Right. We separated into two different vessels, and then we grew the line down to the silver. As you know, silvers can be mellowed in oak up until two months, right under the reposado. So it's like a blanco suave. Okay. It's like a seeping. Like a okay. All right, and so, and you would use the milagro, this one here, a little bit more for for mixing, correct? Well, you know what? In black and white, people could argue that that this is for cocktails and this one is for sipping. It. it I enjoy both for sipping and both for cocktails. Well, that's what I did. I never made a cocktail out of that. I would sip because I can't make a margarita to save my life. It's just it's two different profiles. Like like for me, if, if you're going to do chase with a sangrita, I would much rather sip this guy than this guy because this one has this sweetness coming from the oak uh -huh. that not necessarily goes so good with the sangrita. But then if you're like doing like a, a rocks glass with a leaf of mint and you do this guy, it's going to be better. So it's depending on the occasion because of the profile. Okay.